The Winter Lakes by Wilfred Campbell Wilfred Campbell William Wilfred Campbell was a Canadian poet born on June 1, 1860 in Berlin, Ontario. Studied at University College, University of Toronto. He placed poetry in University of Toronto Varsity in 1881. In 1892 started writing a column of literary essays. In 1915 moved to an old farmhouse on the outskirts of Ottawa which he named Kilmory. He is often considered as the country's confederation poets and by the end of the 19th century he was considered as the unofficial poet laureate of Canada. He was declared a person of national historic significance in 1938. He died of pneumonia on January 1, 1918. The Winter Lakes Published in the Collected Poems of Wilfred Campbell in 1905 Poem is in a highly pessimistic tone. Poem indicates negativity, dullness, and death. Death and hate plays a major role in the poem. Consists of six stanzas with four lines each. Summary The highly philosophical poem starts with a description of a world of death in the form of a winter lake. Towards the north the great lake is lying under the sun, moon, dusk, day, glimmering stars, and dying sunset. According to the poet the death is inevitable and is present everywhere under the sun and moon. The lake is silent and dull and is lacking bud of spring, laugh of summer and dream of love song of bird. As the lake is dull the poet explains a dull and useless life without happiness and peace. Even the chill and dumb winds of ice expresses the hidden grief. The atmosphere is gloomy in the sunset and the rocks are wet and are black in color which resembles the darkness in life. The shores of the lake appears like ghosts which are threatening the normal human life with huge thunder-like problems to be faced. Poet indicates that the midnight surfs are blooming thunders of winter sadness in feeble way. The surrounding regions of the lake is whited with the ice in winter. The woods nearby are desolated and the region appears like a deserted area filled with water. The poet states that it is a world of winter and death and those to enters into that region will lose their life forever. Sadness or depression occurs in the life of humans which make them lose their life forever as they may not be able to recover from it. Foaming crest of waves, surfs shadowy shapes all this look like ghost over the spaces. Once a person diverts his life he will feel the troubles in front of him as ghosts taking him to the path of destruction. The appearance of a troubled life is like the waters that lie white like haunting ghosts which stretch miles and miles in the lake. The poet is clearly describing the death and hate on the rock, hidden bays, moonlit, ice-rimmed, winding fringed by forest and crags, shadowy shores, and all haunt places. Even though human is striving hard to lead a life in this world he is aware that he has to face death. But the conscious human is scared to face death which is the ultimate reality and final destination in life. The poet concludes that the external struggle of man is compared to death and hate which is roaring harshly on sand and land. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.